Nothing in your education or experience can have prepared you for this film. I'm a good doggy, baby's good. So it says Boomer at Doggy Woggy's Poochie Woochies. Can it get it on cam? Yeah, it definitely can, right? <laughs> this is the <laughs> poster. All these, these dogs all easily... All these crazy dogs. Easily the most hallucinogenic, rainbow-spouting dogs I've ever seen. Are you excited to see the show? It's supposed to be pretty psychedelic. The original movie is like... Somebody said, get your bong started. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they did. It's an exciting day. The people actually come dress. We want them to. Yeah. We don't really ask, but we're like, I just assume they would. Uh, like, this is me all the time, but more or less. <laughs> it's great. It's great. Everything is terrible. I mean, it's, yeah. there it is. The doggy radio. Doggy radio. Doggy radio? No way. Oh, hey, Boomer, what's up? Hi, you know that about doggy radio. Oh, yeah. I'm of course to we know about it. Of course. Gold chain right. with a tag, too. Oh, yeah. It's a piece of pentagram. <laughs> Is it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Pizza, yeah. We can saw a lot of pizza the in the show. Oh, cool. There was a fair amount, yeah. So, so what's up, Boomer? Did you like the show? I'm with the dog. Well, I just wondered, like, how did you guys get started? You know, doing picking up their concept and doing the dog. Doggy buggies. You know, we've just always been into dogs and the Holy Mountain, and it just made sense, you know, put them together. Especially talking dogs. Yeah, we don't oh, yeah. talking dogs. Yeah. yeah. Dogs. We thought, uh, let's put them together. Yeah. It makes perfect sense. That's like peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. 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 They existed for thousands of years, but no one put them together until it was, what, like 10 years ago? Why were they waiting so long? What were they waiting know? for so long? What were they waiting for? Peanut wow. butter jelly, they go great together. Figure it out. Yeah. That's what we're doing. I never heard of the Holy Mountain until you guys actually introduced me to it. Have you seen it? Uh, I just, I actually went to went to the net and downloaded it last night, but I haven't watched it. Oh, you you're gonna watch like it, it Boomer. You don't have you're to gonna watch like it. Watching the film, but it helps. It helps. Yeah, it does help. It's like, a, it's, like a, it's like it enhances it. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. It's like, uh, you know, it, it, it definitely. Uh, but even if you don't want to watch our movie, I would suggest the Holy Mountain anyway. Oh, totally. You know, yeah, just for totally. fun. Oh, I'm gonna try it. I didn't know. Never, if they do want to watch your movie. Where do they find it online? Oh, everythingisterrible.com, of course. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, got, <laughs> we got them for sale there. And then uh, we still have, what, 10 or 11 shows left, I think? Still got some shows, a couple weeks. Yeah, couple yeah weeks. you guys are going to Cleveland tomorrow, Fuck I saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah for Two, sure. Four, six. Going home. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah man, for kind life. Of. I think I've seen a show at the Grog Shop before. Oh, it's a great venue. Yeah, it's a really That's great venue. That's a Coventry, isn't it? That is. Yeah. Indeed. All right, I yeah. know it. Boomer, you know what you're talking you about. You know what you're talking well, about. Well, I have a friend who lives in Cleveland, so he's an, also a dog, too. Ricochet the Sheepdog. Yes. Oh, really? Is Ricochet going to come to the Grog? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. What time is it? Is it's he... like 9 or something. Yeah, 9, nine or... <laughs> Of her face. Saw it. Her face. That's not a full on body swap, though. That's just a, a, a standard case of dog human communication. It's basically a chops, uh, chops for buff, yeah. Yeah, uh, it, it, it. Yeah, well, like, the dog didn't really have superpowers really. But he could just read his thoughts with a chip. That, yeah, you're right. Chomps right. is like a bionic dog. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the sure. Terminator, but for dogs. Right. right. Yeah. And I love the transformation of these, you know, all those dog transformations. Oh, they're the best. Yeah, big fan. Height of computer animation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It really went downhill from there. Absolute height. Uphill, too. Yeah, yeah, but the Shaggy DA had it before computer animation, so they did theirs. That's true. The Shaggy DA is one of my favorite. I do adore that film. Can you that's wag your tail? Uh, that's what got me started. That's the best I can do. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Are they going to make the DA? I think it would have been done by now. Uh, I think it's not done. Yeah, there are five of those movies. I saw the also the Return of the Shaggy Dog in there, too. Oh, yeah. The Return TV of, one. Revenge of. Got that on VHS. Death of. Mm -hmm. Resurrection of. Yeah. We're all pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> 
would you describe this uh, uh, show as um, spiritual for you, Boomer? Me? Oh, well, it's an epiphany. It's an epiphany. Yeah, I think it's spiritual, for sure. Hell yeah. Yeah. Like, based on the movie, so it is, you know, would be. Yeah. And I mean, you know, I think, I think everything is spiritual, though, so I'm a, a heavily religious dog, so, mm. you know. Okay. You know. That's just me. Wow. It's, it cannot be denied. I'm just looking at the size of how big your heads are. I'm a big doggy. Will you wag your tail, please? What's that? Wag your tail, please. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. You're doing all right. Oh, it's a, a mellow wag. Yeah, I'm a pretty mellow dude. You know? Yeah, it's the chill wag. Thank you. Thank you, Boomer. Yeah. And was was your name Radical Us? Uh, yes, I'm uh, Turbo, aka Radical, or Radical, aka Turbo. Now, what is your Hawaiian friend's name? You... Oh, that's Munch. He's not really Hawaiian. He just went there on vacation all the time. I, I, got a shirt. <laughs> that'll do it. Like, I almost wondered if you guys used a program to go and grab things, because it's like, it's so bizarre how many clips you can get. Right? Um, well, particular, so oh usually God. how it works is that we just like watching, like, tons of different stuff that we haven't seen before or don't know anything about that looks bizarre or ridiculous. Um, but in this case, because we had kind of a specific goal, um, we just got every possible piece of dog footage we could find. And just um, basically we set it up so that there were like, I don't know, it ended up being like 105 categories total of like different types of specific elements we looked and you for, like us doing things, or like yeah. person abusing dog, or like whatever. Like, and you put them in file structures. Yeah, so we'd actually just like just go through like all these movies, whether we want to watch them or not. Because usually the case is that we want to watch it, even if it is really all bad. Right. You know what all I mean? right. but this is the case where it's like we don't have a choice; we have to get the right dog clip. Now, can you do the same for all the cats out there? I mean, we saw a couple of footage of the little cat lady, right? And then there's Surely there are yeah. the cat ladies and skunks and all the other you know furry <laughs> groups if they care to. Um, or is it is it a one off? Is is doggy woggy poochie woochie a, a one off? Yeah, I think this is a one off. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, it made a couple of us uh, pretty much go insane momentarily. So. Yeah, I, I left the theater a few times because of dog overload. You you would never do that, right? Um, no, I gotta get every second of that. <laughs> yeah, no, I felt that. I felt that in you. Go out in culture jam. Basically, Pretty yeah. much, yeah, and just like to see someone who's been doing it for so long just have like such a good attitude about it and still be doing things is like, it's really inspiring and like you need that, you know what I mean? No, and there's a lot of competition now for what they're doing because they were like the first ones to Right, really so we want to have yeah. them out to be like, hey, this is the guy that probably no one, like, not a lot of people, you know, 20, right, 30 and under don't really know. Are there any standards then for culture jamming as carrying on as tradition, like, or is that the point that there's no standards, or can there, can there be? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think that's part of it. I think that's part of it. Salt of life. 
Wow, so this is Pittsburgh Filmmakers. Yeah. See the shield bug on the wall? Yeah. Wow, excellent. Keep it weird. How, do, have you been to Austin? Yeah. There it is, the sign for Doggy Woggy's Poochie Woochies. Up there. Let's see what else they have. Kill List. My watch Kill List. Oh, oh, really? Do you know of it? There it is. No. This is the Melwood screening room we were at. Yeah, maybe I won't, actually. Really? But Doggy Woggy, man, that was great. Yeah, why did you, did you dig it? I did. Woo! So we're here, this is Melwood Avenue. Wow. <laughs> I'm totally thrilled about that. I, see, I thought that this, for you, would just be more than mystical. I think that felt to me like that was a very important experience for you to have. Oh, absolutely. Those guys don't even know. Yeah, and you know, the coolest thing about it is that you could talk shop so detailed with them because you know so many of the movies, but surely you got introduced to new ones, too. Yeah, actually, and he wrote, had me write one down that I got in my pocket, too. It's about the Dracula's dog. So you can cross-reference those now with your new DVD, and you can go and check out the other ones, too. I'm delighted for you, Boomer. It's really a great experience. I know, wasn't that? Let's see, there it is. There's part of Pittsburgh Filmmakers again. I'd say it's one for Boomer the dog. I know, I wish, totally wish Ricochet would be here too, because he knows how much I would dig it. Yeah, and, uh, you know, all, all the furries. Uh, so yeah, that's what I asked is him. Terrible. Uh, are you going to post this on Boomer the Dog on YouTube? Everything is terrible. It's not, they're not just good YouTube, they're not just good online. It's obvious that they're, they've got those furry costumes they've made, they've got a lot of personality, and that they're dirt fucking poor. They're, they're beneath cheap to buy the DVDs, the dog DVD for any furry out there is a good idea and for anybody with a sense of humor of their other DVDs are valuable. I was blown away also actually Boomer. It was it was definitely uh, your thing, but <laughs> it I was, was blown Boomer's away thing. too. It was a boomery thing.